Hi, Stanzin. Hi. So, Stanzin, just could you give us a quick introduction about yourself? Yeah, my name is Stanzin, and I uh, I'm a teacher in a school in Bangalore, and I'm from Ladakh. Okay. So, you grew up in Ladakh, is it? Partly. Yeah. Okay. So, can Partly. you tell us a little bit about your childhood? Any fond memories of childhood? Mm, well, uh, so I spent about the first ten years of my life in Ladakh. Then after that, I from my schooling, I uh, went to different places. So I partly studied in uh, Uttarkashi, which is in Uttarakhand, and then in Banaras for a couple of years. So it was a very uh, interesting childhood because you know traveling from place like Ladakh and coming down to uh, All the Banaras. Way down to so it was yeah. an interesting cultural culturally it was a rich experience. Uh, so, Stanzin, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been dealing with? Mm, so, about um, two months back, I was diagnosed with um, high blood pressure and uh, kidney issues. So, that is what I'm right now, like you know, working on. Okay. So, when uh, was this earlier diagnosed or something? No, it was diagnosed now. Yeah, about two months back. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, Stanton, anything else that you're dealing with? I mean, uh, no, nothing else. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, like you said, you know, uh, you were telling me earlier that you've had other modes of treatment also. So, can you tell us a little bit about the experiences? Uh, well, I've uh, started off started off with uh, allopathy because the diagnosis at least uh, happened through allopathy. Uh, but then allopathy is very uh, clear on what has to happen, what will happen, what will not happen, you know. And um, so, while I'm still taking the allopathy treatment, but I'm open to other uh, alternative, you know, ways of healing. So I'm doing Ayurveda and I'm also doing acupressure. So I'm doing other things as well. And I feel uh, allopathy is not the only way. I definitely feel if you are open, other systems definitely help you. Any ill experiences that you've had with the medical system? In uh, where? A any system. Um, well, primarily speaking, we always I I always prefer not to go to allopathy. I mean, even as I was growing up, I hardly took pills and all. Uh, but for this, I had to start a diagnosis, and that had to be through allopathy. You know. So, um, what I feel is, in a way, um, uh, allopathy kind of. Uh, a lot of the disease is also through the fear that it creates because they give you very clear kind of this will happen this is how it's going to progress the illness and I feel somewhere at the psychologically we kind of already you know um, are defeated by the disease whereas and secondly I feel that you know it's very unfortunate that many people don't know that other forms of healing exist and somehow with um, education and with the way the world is going, allopathy seems to be the only way, which is not true at all. So I feel, you know, if you are open and if you are aware and if you look around, there are many ways of healing your body. So, somewhere it's not an ill experience, but I feel, you know, when I go to hospitals, when we see people, I feel somehow they are trapped in this little bubble that this is the only way of, you know, going through. So like uh, Stanson, since you said it was diagnosed two months back, so was this difficult for you to deal with mentally? Mm, not very, just I mean of course when the news breaks out in the beginning it does kind of take you by surprise but after that I have very much taken it in my stride and I've been looking at ways of healing but uh, it's not really taken a toll on me in any way. So I mean Stanson, a little off record here. So can you just tell us about how are you as a teacher? How do you feel? I mean, do your students, any experiences at school? Um, as a teacher, I feel, um, I don't feel like I do a job. It's something that I uh, feel very close to and it's something that came my way. I didn't go on to become a teacher, but you know, somehow I think in my growing up years, uh, a very intrinsic part of my learning was teaching. So a school where I had to teach my younger friends, you know. So that kind of made me very clear that I want to work with children as a work. Luckily, at the school where I studied, I went back to teach in those schools. 
so it's something that really makes me feel like a student which is why i teach so i learn a lot basically through teaching so that's great so coming back to our original question so how was your experience with ayurveda ayurveda or ayurveda both ayurveda ayurveda is not new to me in the sense i've always had friends who have been ayurvedic doctors or you know otherwise also many of the oils and i have taken it i mean over the last 20 30 years i have had experiences so it was not new to me and i really kind of uh, feel that there is a ayurveda doesn't just look at one disease and and doesn't look at thing in a fragmented way it looks at the body as a whole the mind also for that matter so i really feel i connect to the approach of ayurveda towards health and healing okay. so would you recommend this i mean ayurveda to i mean have you been recommending this to other people definitely definitely i feel especially not just people who are ill but before you are ill also yeah. i think it's very important that you give your body this time to whether it is going through a panchakarma you know you don't wait for the moment that when everything is when you have to do it choicelessly with your choice if you do i think that does a great deal of good so before i was ill about 2 3 years back also i have done one round of panchakarma and you know healing and that really made me feel good so i would definitely uh, uh, suggest other people to try even if you're not ill <laughs> okay. thank you so much darling